bring in Roger Casali, who joins me now from the capital of Lithuania, Vilnius. He is a former member of parliament from the Labour Party. Roger, good to have you on the show. Um, is this a win-win? Well, it's, uh, it's a win. It's a win for, uh, for the citizens of uh, Northern Ireland, who life has just become a little bit simpler for them again. So I think we should appreciate that. I, I, think, it's, uh, I think the EU and the Irish governments have been wanting to do a deal for some time. They've just been waiting for the right person to be in, in Downing Street. So I think it's uh, uh, they're, they're pleased to uh, have uh, finally been able to achieve some kind of deal. And I think it's a, it's a win for, for, for Rishi Sunak, although uh, he'll have to get the credit for it. But as I say, I think this is this meal has been cooked uh, before, um, made, got ready before, and he, he's turned up at the right time to sign it. I'll, I'll get to that in just a bit. But I mean, the, the success of this deal is likely to, to depend on whether or not the DUP is on board, right? Well. Absolutely, because the point of the deal is to protect the Good Friday Agreement because nobody wants to see a return uh, to violence in, in, in Northern Ireland. And I think getting the DUP back on board and back into the Stormont Northern Ireland Assembly is key. And that's why you have the Stormont break. Uh, I think the DUP's position, they have said they are considering their, their position on this. Uh, I think that there will be some within the DUP who want to accept it and some who don't want to accept it. Uh, this idea of the storm on break, that the Northern Ireland Assembly will be able to pull a kind of emergency break on aspects that are still under EU, EU law, I think it's a little bit of a trick. I think it's a little bit of a, um, a sort of a sweetener to the DUP. I don't know how real it is. But I think ultimately it comes back to that first point that I made. You know, the DUP uh, have got to take the view that if this is good for the people of Northern Ireland, um, to, 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 to stand against it is perhaps not the right thing to do. So they, they, they may not like it, but they may have to... Um, they may have to, to digest this, and the storm on break is a sweetener helping them to do that. Okay. Um, if you're Boris Johnson, uh, what are you thinking right now, and what do you make of that uh, all smiles press conference between uh, Rishi Sunak and Ursula von der Leyen? Well, Rishi Sunak obviously is trying to take to, to talk this up. He's trying to make it uh, 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 something that's going to help him. Remember, there's going to be an election not too not, uh, not, not too far in the future in the UK. I, I think it is a I think it is a win for him. I, I don't I think in politics you have to take credit when you can, but um, I think that uh, he he will have to get it through the House of Commons now, and that's where the Boris Johnson, and not just Boris Johnson, also Liz Trust uh, factors come in. Uh, neither of them will like this very much, but I'm not sure that they're going to rock the boat over this. I think that the they will want to rock the boat with Rishi Sunak and his government, but I think it's going to be more over the budget and over whether there are tax cuts promised in uh, Jeremy Hunt's budget rather, rather than over the Northern Ireland uh, protocol issue. All right. Roger Casale, thank you very much for joining us here on the news. I do appreciate it, sir. Thank you very much.